Alright guys, welcome back to Prince of Persia, Sands of Time, so let's crack on. Alright. Once again, let me remember these controls. Okay, there we go, wall run. I'll run across here and do a jump. Oh, good old bit of slow-mo there, make it look a little bit more badass, why not? There we go. Bit of this. And there it lay, just out of reach. The dagger of time. There was a treasure I could carry with pride as a trophy of our victory. If I could only get there. Alright, so that's the plan. Let's get the dagger. I'm gonna do another jump. Okay, there it is. I mean, it looks to me as though the prince could probably squeeze through there, but fair enough. All right, I want to go up. I think, yep. Run across here. Helps with the camera angles. They're pretty cool. Alright, so here we go. Got some traps. Avoid spiky poles. Pretty easy, really. I see we drop down here. Sees a lot of water. And you can't go up there because it's too slippy. So let's try something else. Swing the camera around. As you can see, we've got a ledge over there, so we'll, we'll run to that. That's the one. It's climbing up. Jump over to that. And over to that. And watch out for the spiky poles. And we're in business. Alright, another wall run. Just jump over to that ledge. Alright, so I drop down here. Right, yep, yeah. some of these ledges are going to start collapsing. Can't get across there, so I'm gonna have to drop down to that bottom one. Like that. Oh, you bastard. What is it with ledge? Ledge is always collapsing in games. You know, Tomb Raider Uncharted. Someone please build some decent structures that don't collapse. Be much appreciated. And down again. Alright, now I'm going to jump back to this pole right here. That's the one. To this one and this one slide down a little bit to make sure I'm lined up can be a little bit hard to tell with this camera angle all right let's slide on down oh god Prince what are you doing We're messing around No, he's insisting on swiping. Don't be doing that, Prince. Will you please cooperate with me? What? I'm not sure why that's happening. It might be a, again. I'm have to look at the controls again. I'm just pressing wall run, and he's like, "Whoa! I'm gonna whip out my sword." There we 
go, brother. There's wall to wall. Like an absolute pro. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. So we got the dagger. Shit's going down. Let's get out of here. Oh god. Jump for the spikes. I believe that will be instant death, Tomb Raider style. Some knobheads put some more traps. I just want to wait for those to back up. Run into the alcove. There we go. This camera is a bit of a bastard. Okay, he's doing it again. Prince, no he's not. Okay, okay. it seems if you press... Yeah, I press Warren again, he swipes. So... I guess that's just something he's gonna do. Oh. Father, I have brought us honour and glory. You promised me my choice of the Maharaja's treasures. That dagger! Surely you won't deny the lad a souvenir of his first battle. You may have your choice of all the Maharaja's other treasures. Except that hourglass. That will make a fine gift for the Sultan of Azad when we pass through his city. And some exotic animals for his menagerie. And a dozen slave girls. Yes, that should be enough. I want no animals or maidens harmed until I have chosen. Let it be known, King Sharaman is merciful in victory. Trust not a man who has betrayed his master, nor take him into your own service, lest he betray you too. I learned the truth of this to my sorrow, the day that we arrived in Azad as the Sultan's honored guests. My friend, my friend your visit brings joy and honor to my poor and humble dwelling. If only you'd given me time to prepare a proper welcome. The glories of Azad are famed throughout the world, and yet... The best is yet to come. I give you the sands of time. May the friendship between our kingdoms endure as long as time itself. The sand, why does it glow? I can tell you. Inside the hourglass is a marvel that no living man has seen. Alas, only the dagger can unlock the sands of time, and it belongs to a greater one than I. A young prince, dearer to his father than all the wealth of India. Perhaps he will oblige. No! Sands of time. I can undo what you have done. 
done. Give it to me. Uh. Well, that escalated quickly, and also the prince has lost his hat. He cannot be happy about that, but here we go, i got some new enemies. Some supernatural beings, or whatever they are. Prince, use the dagger. Yeah, okay, so we're going to need to use the dagger uh, once you've knocked them down. Press triangle. Give him a stab, that'll finish him off. Otherwise, after a short amount of time, they'll get back up. So... She used that dagger. Each time I struck them down, they rose to fight again. I soon realized that only by taking into my own dagger the sands that possessed them, could I liberate them from their monstrous living dead. Now, finish it! Quite a few of these guys. vision of the future so uh, yeah go on then we'll save Done. I'll start and we'll keep going here next time. you think me mad I can see it by the look in your eyes you think my story is impossible perhaps I am mad who would not be driven mad by horrors such as I have lived but I assure you, every word is true. Alright, so I'm going to go for it. I remember when I first played this game back in the day, I got stuck in this room for quite a long time because I just kept overlooking this, uh, this little gap right here. And yeah. Wait. Come back. Oh, well that's just great. Let's get through this room. No, let's not climb down there, Prince. Yeah, that's what we're after. The guest rooms, where my father, all our entourage, and I should have passed the night lay cold and silent. The sands of time had swept through, stealing life and warmth from everything they touched. And I, who unleashed the cataclysm, had been spared. Were there others like me, who yet clung to life, hiding in fear among the ruins? It did not seem so. You can shut up now, Prince. Thank you. This is re uh, retrieving eight sand clouds will give the dagger a new sand tank. Is anyone there? 
Okay, so I think we have the ability to rewind time now. Well, we'll, we'll see that later on. Alright, so uh, I need to go up these poles here. Again, camera, please work with me here. There we go. And nicely done. Let's go for another run. Oops, not gonna shoot that. Oh, Prince, he's being a real dickhead. I see this guy. This is, <laughs> I am struggling with this camera. And these controls, they are way too sensitive. But there ain't nothing I can do with that, so I'm just gonna have to make do. I shall persevere. She's not listening. Don't had lose your breath. I seen her, or had my senses given way under the burden of horrors too great to bear and conjured up a phantom? Either way, I could not rest until I had found her again. All right, let's shift over a little bit for that last one. Boom. Let's have a little drink. There we go. Got ourselves another room. And there's the objective through the hole. Drop on down. Oh, there we go. We got company. So now we can uh, slow down time as I demonstrated right there briefly. All right, I think we're going to go over to this side. Yep. Let's turn around. Off the wall. Turn around again. All right, another save point. Right, so uh, that's gonna do it for this part. I already know seven percent through. Done. We've got some, we've got some time powers. Time. All right, so as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Each time I awoke, feeling drained and beaten, and each time what I had seen came to pass. As if the sands of time were giving me a glimpse into my own future. Does this guy ever shut up? I'm trying to end the video here, you dick. Ah, see you later.